Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to episode 9 of Jams! Just to know the Minecraft series. And I've got a spectator! A whole bunch of people are watching me! They're watching me up here, but you know, it's a little hot around here, so they're gonna catch on fire soon. I'm sorry. It's just not gonna go for good for you in a minute or two. Um, if you're wondering, this is what a desert looked like when there is no sand or sandstone left. I've been tearing apart this desert. Oh no. Fred is dying. I guess Fred would wish he had his little pool still. But too bad his neighbor stole it from him. So he can't go swimming. And cool off. Oh, one of them is still on fire. But anyways. Um, I've been coming out here a lot. Catching the sand for all the glass that's at my base. The dome. You remember that dome thing? That made my stuff look like RT2D. -doo -doo. RT2D. -doo -doo. A doo -doo -doo. R2 D2. And, um, been getting the sandstone for a path that I've been making in the nether. Because I am finishing up my nether paths. Oh, ouch. That's not a jump. Um, so that's why this is extra barrenness. I'm so. I forget how. I don't know, wasteland -y this looks when it's all cleared out. Be a good look to get for an area if you wanted a wastelands area. But we don't want a wastelands area, we just want a sand pit. <laughs> and that's what this is. A sand pit. So this is why I've been um, getting a whole bunch of... Uh, what is this stuff called? Sandstone. That's right. I've been getting a ton of sandstone. I've been recreating the um, the tunnel that I had on the other side, where this was nether brick, nether brick, diorite, nether brick, stone slabs, uh, some other stuff, snow and packed ice and stuff. Same exact design. I just um, changed some of the products around a little bit, so. I guess that's the thing. So this is what I've been doing with my time. Because, um, making long nether tunnels is kind of tedious, but it's great as a way for, you know, I just doing stuff, getting stuff done. Um, because I was I said this in the past, but getting stuff done is a real good thing for me um, it kind of makes me feel I always have to have some sort of creation going on whether it be writing a song or creating something in Minecraft or else I just kind of feel empty and void it's kind of weird it's like my fuel my energy if I, I I do something creative it gives me fuel and energy and then eventually that fuel and energy gets used up and I feel kind of depressed and not worth it um, not actually not worth it but you know I just doesn't I don't feel as good when I'm not creating something so um, I always got to be creating something that makes me happy so when I do create something no matter how pathetic this something may be and I'm not calling this nether tunnel thing pathetic but in the grand scheme of things it's not as exciting as a new song or whatever um <coughs> excuse me I'm still fighting that cold but at least I'm creating something and it refills my juices so I don't feel so lost and kind of gives me a purpose, you know, like, well, I worked all day today, I didn't do shit, but hey, you know what, I finished my nether tunnel this morning in the 10 minutes I was working on Minecraft. That is such, so sad sounding, huh? That's how much uh, I've been working lately, and I apologize for all the 
negativity my channel has been abounded upon you guys. Um, it's been a, basically as tough a time as I've had in a decade. Um, but I'm getting out of it. I see... I see a future that does not include me being working my ass off for no money. I don't like that. Um, but we're getting out of the bill situation. Um, I'm making a lot more right now because I'm working a lot more, which is helping that aspect and probably the only reason why we're able to get out of the situation we were in. Always helps when your paycheck almost doubles in half the year. Um, so yeah, things are going better than they were before. Um, so I am happy. I I shouldn't say I'm completely happy right now, but I am getting to the happy point, and that is something I am happy about. <laughs> well, that is not the right type of sandstone. Let me see if I can get this one in. Then I will just go clean out the rest of the area, figure out how much more of this smooth stand sandstone I need before I have to pillage for sand. Because um, in this area right here, I could show you on the other side. I don't know if I showed you this or not, but this is the second half of the um, tunnel. And I do have sand. Um, I'll show you. There's light and everything. So you can actually see a little bit better than you can see right here. Ooh, scary Zedman. Zistos. So this is what it looks like complete. So basically, I just got to get some sand and some sandstone, right? Uh, well, a little bit of sand. Yeah, so everything's done other than the sand. A little bit of sandstone here. So it's probably going to take me a half hour to an hour to complete this and then we'll figure out what else we want to do here so thank you for sticking with me these last couple of episodes where my life has kind of fallen apart and I've been picking up the pieces on cam <laughs> there's a lot of pieces to pick up too god damn so I'm in the corner I've been bad I have to look in here I'm wearing a dunce hat you just don't see it well, let me show you what I've done. So, this side is the side that was already done. And, sorry, I thought I had something on my keyboard. Felt kind of weird. Um, and this is the side that I finished. This is the side I was working on. And I kind of made this corner. Kind of have to improvise on the corners again. And you would think... I would center this better, or even that glowstone, why is that off center? But when you're coming down the hallway, it just looks good to have the glowstone in the same thing line as this. Same with this. This glowstone looks better from close up, but this one you can tell it's way off center. So this is the completed tunnel. And when I was done with it, I had some extra time, so I said, why don't I complete the other tunnels and do some other work? Because it was the weekend and I had some time. And it's always good to have some time. Um, so in front of us is the tunnel to the sand pit. And here's the tunnel to the right that I made. Not nearly as nice as this tunnel, I will say. Um, but it tells me where I'm going. It's a big cobble structure. That has some redstone going on in it. I'm not a big fan of the blocks I chose here, but I kind of wanted to stay in the same vein and have the blocks of the structures kind of determine what are in the tunnel. This is a little tunnel, and I figure I can get away with this. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this tunnel. But I did some work out here. Um at my gunpowder factory sky spawner whatever you want to call it and thank you it is daytime um that's where the spawners are and the water pushes them out we've been over this before but for the people who haven't seen uh the mobs fall down and die down there and there's hoppers to pick it up 
But as you see, there's now a chest down there, and I haven't labeled them yet, but I hinted at doing this, and so I did it. It's an item sorter, so I can have my item sorted, and this last chest is like everything else. You done? So you can see it going up this little item elevator here. That's what the blinking is, that little clock. And it goes across here and goes to each one. You see how gunpowder's going in there now. Now it's working on something else. Now arrows. You can kind of see which one it's working on by the comparator in the background turning on and off. But it, it seems to be working pretty well. And um, the only problem with this now is that I had only added one double chest per each item. But I don't think I'm going to be AFKing here overnight or anything. If anything, um, the longest I've ever AFKed at something like this is like 15-20 minutes. And 15-20 minutes at a place like this will fill another couple of rows up here of stuff. Nah, eh, maybe a half hour. So, um, I'm going to be completely filled with, you know, stuff I don't really need, but... I need a at least a little bit of it so I can go, um, yeah, I'm low on arrows, so where are my arrows? Yes, I'll take those four, I'll take, I'll fill me up the 64. So that's basically what that's for. Oh, my, my cat's causing troubles, he's going, feed me, bitch! <laughs> I gave him water, I didn't realize how low they're on food, so he's like, come on. I'm going to keep throwing things off the kitchen counter until you feed me. So, that's all done. I have to mob-proof the top of this also. Um, so, i got to put half slabs on top of all the redstone over there. i just been lazy and haven't found the time to do that yet. Oh, I missed you. Waste of an arrow. Uh, you got to lead them. Die. So, one of these days, I'm going to mess up the redstone by doing that. But, um, I got the item sorter going. So, I'm happy with that. So, let's go and check out the tunnels some more. Because this is the nether tunnel episode. That's what it has turned into. So, we got this nether tunnel, which, meh. Yeah. That tunnel, which is, yeah, Yeah, not bad, not bad. So I made another tunnel, I was lacking sheep in my world and I wanted to find some sheep so I went exploring and exploring I found a village that I found when I first started this world but I never wrote down the coordinates for the village so what I has, have done is I made a tunnel to the village and here it comes up on the left. and. Here's a tunnel to the village, and as you see, all the um, blocks here, other than the glowstone, are blocks that you would normally see in a village, which hence tells me, hey, this is a tunnel to a village. I will label these just in case I become stupid, um, which is a pretty good chance that I might become stupid, and um, so I just know. And it's dark time, and villagers are here, and I'm going back and away because I don't want mobs to kill these guys because I haven't taken my villages from them. I have not basically kidnapped villagers yet and I don't want them to all die before I kidnap some of them and make them my own. Don't do that in real life. So um, I made this tunnel um, same design just different blocks. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with this whole thing. And after I tell you that, I have one more tunnel to show you, which is not the same design. Because, you remember, I had this go into my packed ice world. And uh, it's only an area where I could support it two wide. I mean, I could make this a three wide and add two or three widths to the side of it more. So making it nine wide. But I decided to against that just because it is an opening that's too wide so and it's a short thing but the problem with this one is I was worried with the um, ice if there was lava pockets and also 
I, I must say to you this, <laughs> if you ever do this on your own, um, make sure you get rid of the lava pockets because this is wood. I've burnt this down two or three times already um, and now it's staying unburnt because I found all the lava pockets because my wood started burning and I lost a whole bunch of wood building this. So be careful when you're using wood in the nether. Uh, to make sure there's no lava within a uh, three or four block safety zone. I forget exactly what it is. So, um, that is a thing. And I am out of food. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. No, I'm not out of food. So, same thing here. I was kind of worried um, with the ice that it would melt. But I don't see any ice melting or missing because it doesn't turn to water anymore. I think it just evaporates when it melts. And um, the packed ice should give you an idea of where this is going. Yes, my packed ice world. So, and that is basically it for the tunnels. Um, there's a couple of more tunnels I need to find, but I need to find the biomes themselves. And I may just go on a mist and just write down some coordinates and just make tunnels to them. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I need a jungle badly and I want a, what are those called? Mesas. I'm going to go in and take a nap real quick. So something exciting happened now that I'm done with the tunnels and, oh, I'm sleeping with a chest. Um, when, ooh. Oh, I also added a cactus farm. I don't know if I showed you this. Um, I'm getting some cactus. Yeah, that's what cactus farms are for. And I also added a vine farm because I have a project in mind and I'm going to use some cracked vine stone brick. I might as well show you the project real quick uh, with this story. A long time ago, I wanted to work, f a find a career job, something I could retire with. And I was living in Boston, and I decided, um, why don't I try the post office up in Boston? And they told me, well, it's going to take you five years before you get your own route. So, I don't know, if you want to wait that long, and I'm like, nah, I'd rather not. Plus, I don't want to deliver mail in the snow. So, uh, like four or five years later passed, and I ended up in Florida near my parents, and... Um, in order for me to move down here, I kind of told my parents, I need a career job before I move to Florida. And um, my parents asked their mail lady, and they're like, oh, yeah, we're hiring. So I said, why not? So I came down here, and they said, it would be about three to four years before I get my own route, just filling in and subbing. And um, I said, oh, great, that's better than Massachusetts. So I decided to get the job at the post office. And... January will make a complete nine years at the post office, and I still don't have my own route. I'm still waiting, but yesterday or November 28th, I went started at number 36 down to get my own route, and yesterday I became number one in seniority. So the next route that becomes open, if they expand the town, which is lot there's lots of building going on right now, and um, lots of lots and lots of buildings so they they just created a new route because of the new building in town and they're expecting another route by the end of spring and that new route will be mine so i am number one right now seniority wise waiting for a route and hopefully by springtime um i will have my own route the problems being is that i'm a fill-in so i do a route that somebody calls in sick for or whatever an open route I have a route in the winter because they create more routes because more people live down here. But in the summer, I just fill in on other people's routes. So when I get my own route, I don't have to worry about not working every single day in the summer. Which, being close to the top seniority, I was working basically every day anyways. Uh, but I also know when I'm done with my route, I can just go home. Whether or not it takes me 5 hours to do it or 10 hours to do it. After my route is done... I don't get sent out to help somebody else. That's now other people's jobs. 
or once I get my route, that will be other people's jobs. So like today, I'm going to go to work and work nine, ten hours on my route and I could go possibility to go back out and help other people. But when I become regular, that will stop, which will affect the pay a little bit. But um, my life will become sane again. I can make plans instead of going to work going I'm on a five hour route today. So I'll be done around one o'clock in the afternoon and I can make a doctor visit appointment at two or three but then they send me out and help somebody else and I missed a doctor's appointment so my schedule has been fucked up for nine years and once I become regular I can have a normal schedule and I can actually create a schedule because I know approximately when I will be done with my job every day and right now I don't know I could go in expecting to be home by noon or one o'clock and not be home till 9 p.m. and that kind of sucks so I'm really looking forward to that and after a couple of years of being regular and getting my own route, I'll increase enough pay, pay wise um, on the pay schedule that I will be making about the same as I will now. Plus, the time I'm doing now, I'm talking so much I got saliva coming out of the sides of my mouth. <laughs> um, with the amount I'm... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, with all this work that I'm doing now, I'm not actually going towards my retirement. I'm not offered... Benefits, uh, health insurance is something I don't have, and even though I've been working for the government for almost a decade. Um, my daughter gets it through the state, thanks Obama. Um, and once I become regular, I have access to the best health insurance in the world, basically. Um, kind of the same insurance that the president has. And um, it would be nice to have insurance. Um, because I'm, you look at me and you know I'm not a <laughs> healthy individual. <laughs> at least I quit smoking, right? Worst, worst thing I ever did in my life. Don't, don't ever smoke. So enough with that. I'm kind of happy with that. So 11:28 was a big day. We had cake and we had fun. Had a little party for becoming number one. But um, I'm gonna rise up here and show you the future. Here is a layout of a future plan. What may you say is this? Well, I'm kind of ripping it off from somebody, uh, at least the style of the building and what its purpose is. But if there's a guy who streams called Slind, where I got the motivation for my texture pack, and he has a tree farm. And that's what this is going to be. Now, cobblestone are going to be pistons that go underneath the water in the end is where you plant the two by two trees so I'm gonna have four pods of the two by two trees there's gonna be water coming down here pushing all the saplings and stuff to the edge to this hallway this is a big hallway and the back here is gonna be one by one trees um, and there's gonna be pistons underneath those and water to get all the saplings and extra leaves or whatever apples and it's all gonna come to a certain point and this building is going to be about 40 to 50 blocks high. So it's going to tower over this R2-D2 thing. So I'm just deciding how I'm going to set this up, uh, what blocks to use and all that. I'm pretty sure that's where those vines are going to come into. It's going to be cobblestone, um, probably um, cracked brick, uh, smooth brick, whatever. Um, Mossy brick, all that good stuff is gonna go in here. I'm gonna use a lot of glass because I want, don't want this big building blocking the scenery here. So I haven't really decided, but that is our future. And with that, I am gonna go. And yeah, that's how we get to me. I'm gonna go. There you are. But have a good day. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you like my nether tunnels. Um, there's going to be a couple of more, a couple of real long ones, because the mesa is very, very far away. I just don't know exactly where it is, but it's 10,000 blocks away from where I am now. So I'm going to be making some big tunnels and some tree farm type stuff. So if you have any ideas of what I should do with the tree farm, let me know in the comments below. Have a good day. It's Keith. Thank you for watching episode 9 of KMA's Jams. And have a great day. Bye.